Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Tashkova, a full stack web developer at Bull Code, and today we're going to talk about Warble Mix. We should start by understanding what Webpack is, and it is an incredibly powerful module bundler that prepares your JavaScript and assets for the browser, and therefore mixes a thin layer on top of Webpack, which serves for dynamically constructing your Webpack configuration. Though Laravel Mix was originally built for Laravel projects, it of course may be used for any type of application. The latest version of Mix is version 6 and requires dependencies that are compatible with Webpack 5 or PostCSS 8. It is a free of charge tool which automatically optimizes and minifies your assets when building for production with the npx mix production command which you'll see later on this presentation. Mix also ships with basic TypeScript and view support. And to assist with long-term caching, Mix provides the Mix version method. With the versioning enabled, a unique query string ID will be appended to your assets every time your code is compiled. And upon the compilation, we will see the hash names in Mix manifest JSON file. Another great benefit of the Mix API is that we can isolate or extract vendor libraries into their own files, and this will of course result in a significantly smaller app.js file. With the hot module replacement, we can exchange add or remove modules while an application is running without a full reload, and all we should do is to run from the command line npx mix watch hot to boot up a node server and monitor our bundle for changes. Mix provides the mix CSS command for the basic CSS compilation and is an alias for mix post CSS. This means that we have full access to the entire post CSS plugin ecosystem as part of our compilation and we also have options for SAS and less compilation. By default, Mix will pipe all of our CSS through the popular auto-prefixer post CSS plugin. As such, we are uh, free to use the latest CSS tree syntax with the understanding any necessary browser prefixes will be applied automatically. One key concept to understand is that Mix and Webpack will rewrite any URLs relative paths within our style sheets and the absolute paths so will always be excluded from URL rewriting. Here we can see how to install and set up Laravel Mix. First, we should install Mix either through npm or yarn. The second step is to create a mix configuration file named Webpack Mix.js. Then we define our compilation there. Here in the example, we are setting our public path and we are using the mix as a compilation. Finally, all we have to do is to run npx mix command to trigger the appropriate Webpack build. Here we can see a list of useful uh, CLI commands. We've already covered most of them uh, with the npx mix watch command. Each time we update a file, Mix will automatically recompile the file and rebuild our bundle. Mix provides some other useful features. Um, for example, if we have vendor libraries that need to remain separate from our core webpack bundle, we can use uh, Mix Combine to merge or concatenate uh, multiple files into a single file, called, for example, Merge.js. Another interesting feature is the browser sync that will automatically monitor our files for changes and inject any changes into the browser or without requiring a manual refresh. In uh, certain cases, uh, it may prove easier to drop down a level and override the underlying webpack configuration directly. And Mix provides the Mix webpack config command to allow us to do this. Uh, we can talk uh, more about the event hooks, because in some scenarios we may need to execute a piece of logic before the compilation begins. For example, if we need to copy a directory or move a file, the mix before function allows this, 
and the uh, mix will not begin its compilation until all before hooks have fully resolved. On the other hand, we can execute a piece of logic after Webpack has completed its compilation with the mix after method. For example, if we want to walk a list of uh, all compiled assets. And for uh, more information, you can of course visit the uh, official documentation of Laravel Mix. Uh, thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, we will be happy to answer them in the comment section of this video.